Sorry guys, I forgot to mention these cars that are upside down. In this video, Hope for Truth, that he has posted, he is rather incredulous about these California fires. Sounds like he is from Scotland. And he is talking about this reporter who is pointing at the car upside down. This is the California fires. And he doesn't even mention he doesn't even mention the 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 car that is lying upside down. Okay. The wind bursts that a lot of people were talking about. That is that can be caused by directed energy weapons. And this is another car tossed literally on its head. And another car. This is the California fires. So a fire does not cause a car to just flip over. There had to have been some magnificent wind burst to have made that happen. And yes, that can happen from electromagnetic frequencies. But I do want you to recall the cars that were burned 9-11, New York City, even away from the World Trade Center. And it, they look very similar to the cars in the fires. But do get that these cars in the fires, that tree right there is completely fine. The trees right up here, completely fine. The trees, no fire around, no evidence of any fire around this car. But something ignited it, obviously. Another car on its head. California. New York, 9-11. Cars look very similar. Wow, the uh, the tire and the the um, the inside wheel gone. And I showed you pictures of the melting cars with their oh I don't know what you call that, but you know okay the tire itself is gone, but the hardware that holds that rubber piece. <laughs> I'm clearly not a car specialist. Um, how does this happen? It happens with directed energy weapons. 9-11. So, trees unharmed but the cars ignited, burned up, glass gone. And this is from uh, Judy Wood. But 1,400 cars were toasted? Question, what can turn steel, concrete, to mostly dust? Toast, 1,400 cars but not burn the trees, paper, or teddy bears, directed energy weapons.